Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to do another How to Sound Like video. This time we're going to try and get the times of my top 6 Red Hot Chili Peppers songs. So before we get started, if you like this Sound Like video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't be sounding in any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video, and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate it if you go and check them out. So the reason why I decided to do this is because I was recently sent the brand new 40 30th anniversary SD1 by Boss. Now, other than the paint job, this is exactly the same as the normal SD ones, but I thought it'd be really cool to use this in a Red Hot Chili Peppers sound like because John Frusciante is so famous for using Boss pedals a lot, and I can actually get his MXR microamp style tones coming from that pedal as well. So, of course, being the Red Hot Chili Peppers and John Frusciante, there's two other key ingredients. So, we need a good vintage style strat. So, for that, I'm using my Matmul S Classic, which is one of my favorite vintage style strat casters. And then, of course, we need a good Marshall Plexi style amp. So, for that, I'm using my my Cornell 4550 Plexi, which is one of the best Plexi style amps I've played. That's running into the Time King Ironman 2 Attenuator, and then into Celestian G12 M65 Creambat speaker that's been recorded by a Lewitt MTP 440 dynamic microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. So there is going to be a couple of other effects that we use, like a Big Muff style fuzz and a Boss CE1 style chorus, but let's get into the first song anyway. <laughs> So there we go, that was obviously Can't Stop, probably one of the Red Hot Chili Peppers' most famous songs. Now I've got my Plexi set really clean, and the SD1 is actually giving us that gritty amp tone. Now John Frusciante could have used his micro amp on this, or a different boss pedal, but I actually like the SD1 more than the micro amp, because you can really boost it like a micro amp, but you also have that tone control, so if it's a bit too bright or dark, then you can dial that in as well. And then of course, for the little arpeggio lead part, I'm actually using the Astro Modulation Machine by Universal Audio, that has a boss CE1 emulation in there, and it's giving us a vibrato tone, and then for the big solo is just the Ren and Cuff Capri, which is a big muff style distortion running into the SD1. So I'll show you what the guitar sounds like going straight into the amp, then I'll kick on the SD1, and then we'll look at the other pedals as well. <laughs>
So there you go. You can see what each pedal was doing throughout the time. So let's get into the next one. there we go that was under the bridge so again i had the sd1 and it was just breaking up the amp a little bit just to give me the more simulated cranked up amp tone and then finally for the outro part for the chorus tone again it's the universal audio astra giving us a boss ce1 style chorus so i'll show you what it sounds like straight into the amp and then i'll kick on the sd1 and we'll look at the astra as well So that was under the bridge, now let's get into the next song. So that was Californication, really simple times wise for this. Again, the SD1 giving us a nice overdrive tone. And the only difference is I'm playing on the neck pickup throughout the whole song. Then when we get to the bright solo part, we go to the bridge pickup. So I'll show you what it sounds like going straight into the amp and then I'll kick on the SD1. So that was Californication, so now let's get into the next one.
California. So again, the SD1 giving us a nice breakup overdrive tone. And then for the big chorus chords and the solo is the Renin Cuff Capri. And I'm just switching between the neck and bridge pickup for those. So I'll show you what it sounds like straight in. Then I'll kick on the SD1 and then the big muff. So that was done in California, so now let's get into the next song. So that was obviously scar tissue for this. It's just the same overdrive time throughout the whole song. And it's more to do with how hard you hit the guitar. So net pick up for the main parts. Again, the SD1 was giving us that nice drive time. And for the little slide solo parts, you could do exactly the same time on the bridge pickup, but I'll leave that out of this. So the guitar straight into the amp first, sounds like this. So there you go, you can see what the pedals are doing to our time. So now let's get into the final one, which is Snow Hey Oh. So there we go, that was Snow Hey Oh. So on the original recording, it's pretty clean, but it's also compressed. So it makes sense to give us a little bit of overdrive going to the amp to do that. And then of course, we hear the overdrive more on the little pre-chorus and then the heavier strummed chords in the chorus. Again, there's the lead lines, which you can play on the bridge pickup, maybe with a fuzz, but it sounds more like distortion to me. But we're really just looking at the main parts in this. So I'll show you what it sounds like going straight into the amp first, and then I'll kick on the SD1 so you can see and hear what it's doing to our time. <laughs> So there we have it. That was a look at how to sound like some of my favorite songs by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. All classic tones. And of course, being Frusciante, having a great vintage style strap like my Matt Moles Classic and a great vintage style Marshall Plexi style amp from the Cornell 4550 really came in handy. Now, Frusciante is a really big user of boss pedals and more specifically the micro amp for a lot of his tones. But I really like using the SD1 for my overdrive tones for this type of stuff, mainly because you can get that MXR clean amp boost type thing, but you have a bit more flexibility and tweakability via the time control on the front. So if it's too bright or dark, you can counteract that. And then of course, you can use the gain in the SD1 
want to get some more overdriven tires as well. Having the universal audio Astrid to give us a bossy one chorus and vibrato time really came in handy for certain parts, as well as that big searing big muff time coming from the Ren and Cuff Capri. This was a really fun one to do, and Red Hot Chili Peppers is one of my favorite bands, and they have so many killer songs. It was kind of hard to pick just the top six. But let me know down in the comments how close you thought I got to the original songs and any future had sound like videos you'd like to see me do. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to all the gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I really appreciate you going to check them out. If you did like the sound like video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go on to my channel, check out some of my playlists. I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.